This is SSPTV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. The Hazleton area has a long, proud, and delicious history of family-owned restaurants. Charles McAwee of the Greater Hazleton Historical Society serves up some stories about them next. Hi everyone, and thanks for watching. I'm Ken Kerr with your local information. A press conference was scheduled for Monday afternoon after a body was found in Butler Township over the weekend. The body of 26-year-old Erica Schultz of Bloomsburg was found in the woods near Hobby Road in Butler Township. 42-year-old Harold David Hallman III is charged with homicide, kidnapping, and abuse of a corpse. For updates from the press conference, go to our Facebook page and standardspeaker.com. It's so important to buy local now as the pandemic and restrictions continue. The Hazleton area has long been home to many family-owned restaurants and businesses. I work for one, for example. Now we get some colorful stories about that history and a bartender in our area during the time of Prohibition. Here's Janine Lassant with the Vice President of the Greater Hazleton Historical Society, Charles McElwee. We have so many multi-generational family-owned small businesses and restaurants, et cetera, throughout the greater Hazleton area. I mean, more so than most regions. It's really special to this area. And of course, in light of all the restrictions and this lockdown period, it's crucial for everyone to support those businesses because you know the Hazleton area, the residents of this area, they're the foundation, they're the base, the customer base. And there is so much history among those businesses. Some still present, some have gone. And one story I discovered was a, a, a guy named Joseph Galtieri. And he had a bar, his family did, a bar called Caruso's. And it was named after the Italian singer, famed singer, uh, Enrico Caruso. And they first opened on North Wyoming Street. I mean, this is going back over 100 years ago. And they subsequently moved by the early 20s to the, the building still stands. What was Kresge's and what is now the Luzerne County Community College uh, building on Broad Street in downtown Hazleton on the second floor, they opened Caruso's there. And people forget, I mean, this was a town of theaters and many actors and actresses in the roaring 20s, 30s, that prohibition era, they would get off the train from New York in downtown Hazleton go perform at the Grand or Feely, and then afterward, they'd head to Caruso's. Back when it was Prohibition, it was essentially a speakeasy, and then, of course, when Prohibition was lifted. And so Galtieri had all these stories to tell, and he later worked at another well-known local nightclub called the Green Gables, which today, sometimes restaurants turn into churches. Today, it's known as Good Shepherd Catholic Church in Drums, and he worked there. And by 1961, he came out with a book called The Master Mixologist, which was a collection of all the cocktails and stories he had really collected over the years as this well-known um, bartender and, and, and uh, maker of drinks, not only in Hazleton, but in the Poconos or throughout Northeastern Pennsylvania. And it was a hit that sold in Las Vegas, San Francisco. I mean, to me, I guess the, the call on behalf of the Historical Society is if you have a copy of the book, let us know. We'd love to know the recipes. But it's a, a very fascinating history. But that colorful, colorful past is a reminder of what makes this area so special and why you know, it's so important to continue to support businesses and restaurants in the area. And we can make those drinks and we can taste test them, right? <laughs> and we can all use a drink right now. <laughs> we can all use a couple drinks right now. Again, supporting these local businesses. First time in our lifetime that we are seeing a pandemic and living through it after these nine plus months um, with really hopefully an end in sight. Um, you know, what are your thoughts on that? But if anything, I mean, if you look back to like the 1918 flu in Hazleton, once it ended, nobody talked about it. And you, you may even recall, you know, our viewers uh, grandparents or great grandparents who may not have even ever spoken about it, but they lived it. And, you know, it was a traumatic experience and something that perhaps one does not want to talk about. And of course, this is a traumatic experience too, including for those local businesses and restaurants. And, you know, I hope this too shall pass quickly 
And I think, yeah, we could repeat history and perhaps, you know, move on and, and, and hope that this will end very soon. Today's news feature is brought to you by Feisner's Ford and Freeland, who is celebrating 75 years in business. Give them a call at 570-636-3920, or you can log on to FeisnersFord.com. Time now for weather on SSPTV News. Here's our forecast from the National Weather Service. On Tuesday, it's mostly sunny with highs in the 20s. Wind gusts as high as 25 miles per hour. It's mostly clear on Tuesday night with lows in the teens. Wind gusts could get as high as 20 miles per hour. Wednesday, mostly cloudy with highs in the 30s. Wind gusts as high as 21 miles per hour. There's a 20% chance of snow showers after 1 a.m. on Wednesday night, mostly cloudy with lows in the 20s. Thursday, there's a 70% chance of snow showers before 11 a.m., then rain showers likely after that. It will be cloudy with highs in the 40s. Thursday night, rain showers likely before midnight, then rain and snow showers. There's an 80% chance of precipitation. Lows will be in the 30s. Then on New Year's Day, a 90% chance of showers. Our high will be near 50 degrees. Friday night, a 50% chance of showers before 1 a.m., mostly cloudy with lows in the 30s. A few local football players were named All-State recently by Pennsylvania football writers. Hazel Tenaria's Matthew Casatis made the 6A team as an athlete. North Schuylkill had three players make the 3A team. Representing the Spartans are quarterback Jake Hall and running back Josh Chowanski, who are both juniors, and senior offensive lineman Dustin Wallace. Ben Terry made the single-A team for Monterey area as an athlete. If you're a student who needs help looking for colleges during the pandemic, stay tuned. We have some information after the break. And in sports, we talk with Los Angeles Angels manager Joe Madden and his wife Jay as they help the Hazleton Integration Project. And next in the SSP TV Spotlight, Sam LaSant talks with members of the business community in Schuylkill County about staying positive during the pandemic. And now this social news and a happy 27th birthday to Matt Meso, love mom, dad, and Bobby. And that's tonight's Talk of the Town. SBTV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. John M. Barkanik, age 84, of Hazleton. Services will be private under the Fiero Funeral Home. Chris J. Blackwell, age 53, of Weatherly. Services will be private under the Philip J. Jeffries Funeral Home. William R. Boyle, age 81, of Hazleton. Mass will be held on Wednesday at 10 a.m. at St. Gabriel's Church. The Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Thomas J. Doxy Sirico, age 66, of Hazleton. The Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home will announce their arrangements. Russell Kissenweather, age 91, of Hazleton. Services will be private under the Crothan Hughes Funeral Home. Leon Kopitz of Mountaintop. Services will be held on Wednesday under the McCune Funeral Home. Thomas V. Munley Jr., age 83, of Sugarloaf Township. The George H. Shrush Funeral Home will announce their arrangements. Dennis G. Saul, age 76, of Hazleton. Services will be held at a later date under the Joseph A. Moran Funeral Home. William E. Shotok, age 75, of Hazel Township. Mass will be held on Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. at Most Precious Blood Church. The Frank J. Bonham Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. And John M. Cheetah Voitko, age 67, of Jeansville. Services will be private under the Damiano Funeral Home. Today's social and obituary report is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. Call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.